Andrew, you're Chief Investment Officer at Aberdeen Property Investors. Your latest UK and European property snapshots have painted a relatively optimistic picture of the UK property sector. On what are you basing that uh, viewpoint on? I think really the, the story is that the UK property market has fallen uh, further and faster than it's ever fallen before. So there's been a very sharp uh, repricing over the last 18 months or so, which is really a response to the the credit crisis. The, the UK market was the, the first international market to be affected and it has adjusted very quickly. So uh, we, we think values have further to fall but what it does mean is that the UK is re-rated in an international context and now looks one of the more attractively priced markets um, compared with, with other property markets and also property is now looking better value against other asset classes. Um, as a result of that we think there will come a point probably towards the end of this year where um, investor confidence starts to improve again and we start to see the early signs of liquidity coming back into the market. Between now and then, do you expect uh, significant falls to continue? Well, we think values will probably fall by a further 15 to 20 per cent uh, during the first half of this year. The, the other concern is that the, the letting markets are very weak and rental values have really only just started their decline other than central London where that's been happening for a bit longer but uh, we think given the underlying weakness in the economy that's going to be a problem for some time to come but the likelihood is that investors will start to look through that they'll recognize the repricing the markets undergone um, over the last 18 months or so um, and begin to really look for buying opportunities that there will be mispriced assets in this market and opportunities to buy in at distressed prices. Is there a nagging fear that this downturn may be particularly severe compared to maybe the last two or three that may in fact put the brakes on the sector for longer than anyone, anyone expects? I think certainly our view is that this is going to be a very long term uh, problem. Certainly the letting markets are not going to recover uh, to any significant degree we think for at least two or three years. Um, it's going to be a, a prolonged deep recession. Uh, it's just that the, the pricing of the market and the, the speed of repricing in the UK we think suggests that although this will be another very tough year and the returns will be negative and we're predicting something like minus 15 percent return this year, um, that's marginally less bad than last year and in fact we think uh, other continent, well other European markets are likely to bottom in 2009 so the, the worst part of the trough for the UK we think was 2008 so that's already behind us. Commercial property makes up 24% of assets under management at uh, Aberdeen. That's about right, yes. Do you expect to decrease or increase uh, that percentage uh, over the next year or so? I think in, in pure asset allocation terms that there are a number of other asset classes of course that have repriced um, in much the same way. Um, so there are certainly buying opportunities in the equity market for exactly the same reasons. These are distressed stocks, they're, they're assets that have repriced very significantly. Having said that, I think our, our sense is that most institutional investors who take a long-term view of property, um, having weathered uh, quite a lot of pain over the last year or so, uh, they're not in a, a position where they, they would be looking to sell down. So we're already seeing um, new interest from investors and again particularly this is a a UK phenomenon at the moment, um, people suggesting that they would like to increase their UK exposure before the end of this year. Um, I think it'll take a bit longer than that in some of the other markets that were slower into the downturn. So as far as we're concerned, um, continental Europe and the US markets um, will take rather longer to, to reach the bottom. So certainly some investors will be looking to rebuild their property weightings a, a little bit from where we are at the moment, but there are other opportunities out there as well. Within uh, that real estate asset class, is there any particular sector uh, you think may perform a little better or may recover uh, slightly stronger or faster than any other? Yes, I think the, the main stress at the moment is in the office markets heavily dominated by the financial service sector. So in a UK context, the obvious um, situation would be central London where there's been a, a lot of shedding of jobs. That means a shedding of floor space and consolidation of companies and all of that puts that market under some serious strain. Um, rents in the West End were uh, substantially higher than we've ever seen in the past, although in the city um, much less stretched. Um, so that, that's clearly a concern. The same sort of issues arise in other big financial centres like Frankfurt and Paris. Um, so really moving away from the financial sector, a lot of the regional markets that are more dominated by public sector occupiers uh, they're much less under pressure and also parts of the retail market and I think the retail market generally has come in for 
uh, a lot of press coverage, adverse press coverage, because of the, the strains that retailers are, are clearly under. Um, but generally, retail tends to be a more defensive segment of the market in a downturn than offices. Offices are very cyclical. Retail perhaps rides the storm more comfortably. Um, having said that, I think we are being very selective in, in our approach to the sector because certainly areas of, of that market are under pressure as never before, and that would include uh, the out-of-town market for the first time in this recession. Uh, it's a mature market. In the last recession, it was still a developing market in the UK. Just looking um, outside of the UK, you, you mentioned uh, Frankfurt and Paris there, but if we were to look at, say, the German uh, economy or the German yes. uh, sector, I mean, how do you expect that to perform over the next uh, two to three years? Well, I think Germany is in, in quite a, a tricky position at the moment. Certainly the, the economy is being battered by all the, the pressures that we, we see around us, the, the export markets, which are particularly important in Germany, uh, are certainly suffering as a result of that. Now, having said that, um, it's a very large, very diverse market. Um, a lot of very sizable towns and cities around the country. And again, it's a story that while Frankfurt is, is suffering from the, the financial sector um, problems, then many of those regional markets are under much less pressure. Um, there are also issues about the way um, investors approach property in Germany. Most of those are very long-term investors, certainly on the institutional side. But there's also a, a lot of retail investor money there as well, which can be a lot more fickle. So you've got a balance between quite loyal long-term investors in the institutional side and short-term capital flows affecting some of those retail funds. Um, but generally we think the, the German market is one of the more resilient, uh, certainly some pressures there, but uh, more resilient than some. Andrew, the industry's seen a lot of turbulence in the last year and a half or so. What parallels are there uh, with previous downturns? Yes, I think there's been a lot of use of the word unprecedented. Um, having said that, I think there are parallels, as you suggest, with other uh, slowdowns. In fact, this time round, um, we have a global recession that's really been precipitated by a financial crisis. So the financial crisis came first. That damaged investor confidence. Um, it started the repricing of some markets, and we mentioned the UK was amongst the first of those. And now we have the recession following through. Um, if you look at the parallels with the, the early 90s, um, we had the recession first, which was an international phenomenon, and then the UK saw its own financial crisis as the country came out of the exchange rate mechanism. And that created a, a, a big repricing of property. It meant interest rates came down very suddenly, and the gap between high property yields and very low interest rates um, suddenly looked very attractive to the market. And that, that was the point where investors started to recommit to the asset class and we saw what happened subsequently. Now, I think the parallels this time are that, again, we've got that very big yield gap emerging. We think that will be the trigger for investors to start to move back into the market. The, the difference, though, this time is that there will be potentially quite a lot of stock, um, often held by banks who might want to liquidate it, that will be available to uh, to come onto the market and also the, the risk that the, the letting markets take quite a long time to recover so the rental growth will be slower to come through. So I think there are some similarities and some differences but you can see some clues where the, the recovery might come from this time.